Nuggets are not holding anything back in the wardrobe department as they made their entrance tonight, hoping to make an impression on their home floor. Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Well, thank you very much. Now, the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says the data shows that superstars Big moving isn't drugs. necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Harrison and Bede are manning the post positions. Axie out there with Harden. And it's Thibel in at the small forward position. And for Denver, Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in its center. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guards. And it's Porter get it, at the three. I think I need to get it, man. I need to call the time, man. I need to start another play. They need it after last year's playoffs. Like the hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and Anthony Melton will help them further this go-round. Here we go. 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 And so here we go. The 76ers to start it. Maxie against Caldwell Pope. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Jokic knocks down the three ball. A lot of times Jokic is creating a jump shot for somebody else, but he's just as good a receiver as he is a distributor. And that's pretty impressive for a seven foot. Now it's hard. Pass to Harris. Why are you over? It come on, bro. Why are you over? Come right on, side. come on, baby. You know, usually Harden is at the rim or behind the arc, but he's got that mid-range game in his bag, too. Hits the three-point bomb. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the dribble. Harden against Murray. Pass to Harris. Yeah, yo, to come, the on, yo, come on, yo, yo, come on. Come on. He's a bomb out there. Come on, he's a bomb. Oh, Jordan. Oh, it won. Let's go. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems uh, like they're right on me. point. Uh, I've got it. You're always. He's a baby. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And Kevin, talk about a tough way to defend against okay. him every time. Tell me the hot guy about him. That's on me. Ibo with the ball. Porter's there. Let's do that. You know, one area where I think Porter Jr. has surprised a bunch of folks is his shot blocking. I mean, uh, and why are you a baby out here, boy? Come on, what are you doing? Flow, some stellar shooting to jump out to this thing. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy. That's all. That's all. You know that's all, bro. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that uh, one down from there. He's a bitch. I know. I know. You're a baby, though. You're a baby. Get, hey, yeah, yeah. They need a timeout. Scott while putting the ball under his legs in a dunk contest. I mean, he's one of the most ridiculous athletes and dunkers we have in I'm the game. I'm trying to get this game going on, man. Like I said, right everybody won't believe me, man. Hey. Okay, leaderboard. Here's a peek at the league's top scorers from a season ago. Number one is Joel Embiid. And he's yeah. not going to forget that. You know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love I'm that. I'm dark. If like my boy D out here. The and they he's are That's all Marco. Ah, oh, snap. That's on me. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like the toilet. That's on me. Every team used to run a lot, but over the last few seasons, They've significantly slowed down their base. He's over, he's over. That's money. That's money. I do. That's money. And he's somewhere between the somewhat. Not a real shooter, but somewhat. You know, 
Well, so far he's been more at this period, making the most of his opportunities. Okay. Green inside the three point line. It's hauled in by the 76. Not bad, y'all messing up now. Yo. Clark playing yeah, slow, more half court man. basketball. Why? Well, I think it suits the game hey. of multi time MVP Nikola Jokic. I mean, the Joker is a maestro in the post and on the perimeter as a passer and scorer. So, oh, man. Nah, they got the whole. Defenses from anywhere on the court and the staff has adjusted how they play to fit the joker's skill set that's a smart move man such a young exciting core for the Bye. and you know it's an all-out effort they've come in with very aggressive offense so far now here's maxi still getting warmed up offensively no score yet the rebound bump. Come on, make here's it tucker that's good, and that's indeed with the assist. They've been beating them to a lot of those yeah, yeah, yeah. balls oh, yeah, and rebounds oh. here to suck. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, yeah. who owns it. That, with Jokic, I mean, the potential great okay. Denver team, they've got All so right. much of it. But what is All the key right, for them to actually reach it? Uh -huh. I said it. Hey, what do you think you are? MB is a low to handle. Joel will get to the line. And MB drops them both. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the six with everything they went through. Now. Even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Now Embiid, Jeff Green missing from long range. Harden kicks it to Tuck. Five to shoot. Here's Maxi. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is it now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. You, you already hold it. All you got to do is let go. Okay? For real. Yeah, but you know, I always try to do it. It's, it's about positioning, so you can't just hit square. And they were in the top ten in terms of free throw percentage. Very consistent from the strike. An asset. And you man, just brought up their assist. Right, they worked the ball around so well. Their offense last season revolved around their passing game. No, you never know we got a yearly. Uh-huh. Harden against Murray. The pass to Milton. From deep. Trains the three-pointer. You know, as a distributor and down to the top of the Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's a baby. Oh, everyone. He's got the lead. Following the basket by Jokic. Jokic with the steal. Murray way outside. Off target with his three. The 76ers trail by 12. Now here's Harden. Passes to Tucker. Outside, Maxi. Embiid against Jokic. I gotta. I knew they gonna do that weird. I, I, I just knew it, man. It's gonna be on Jokic. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injuries. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever gonna get on the court? But once he did, oh my. A monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. And he makes the first. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now. Caldwell Pope against Maxi. Pass to Melton. Embiid sets the pick for Melton. Offensive rebound. That shot off the mark. Here's the Nuggets with the ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Gordon dishes to Green. 
Off target from outside. The 76ers trail by 16. And here is Milton. On the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now, here's Maxi. He's coming off a 25-point game against Sacramento. Gordon for three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Maxi with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Maxi passes to Embiid. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Here's Denver now. They're on a 17-7 run. And here's Green outside. Drills it from outside. He's got 16. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass first team player. It's called Will Pope. Love seeing that. Maxi kicks it to Tucker. And B with the screen on Coma. From 12 feet out, he hits the back and right? sinks the shot. Tucker's got five points so far. Yeah, you know, we've seen Tucker extend nowadays. I like the way they've capitalized in transition, keeping their foot on the gas. Taking a look at the 76ers. Front court is Thibault and Harris. Harden out there with the Anthony Melton. And Harrell's in at the five down low. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. And how about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide-open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. Harris passes to Harrell. Basket is good. The assist from Harrell. Harrell's got his first bucket of the night. Boy, great movement by Harrell rolling off the pick that time. Gets himself into a good scoring position there. Melton passes to Harden. Good work there as it goes. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. 